what's up everybody it's your boy tgk and today we got a performance review a basketball shoe performance review we ain't had one of these in a minute my money's been low for the last year and a half but now we're starting to kind of get back into into pocket and i ended up buying the reebok more buckets kick and i got the black and white shoe i'm gonna call these the ultimate dad shoe for hoopers so without further ado without wasting your time without any other intro let's get straight into the shoe all right, so the other day I copped these kicks, uh, and I've been eyeing them. I've been eyeing these kicks for about the last two, three months. I don't know when they officially dropped. I'll probably put some text on the, on the screen here. Uh, but I did see them like at 50% off at the time when I first saw them. And then I went back to the store uh, about a week ago, and I copped these. I'm going to show the footage now. So depending on where I put this in the video, I just bought them today. Just bought them today. First eyelid isn't even being used. So hopefully these dad kicks uh, are pretty solid. I, I got a good feeling about them. I've been wanting to cop them for a while. So let's go. And when I copped them, uh, they were going for about how much was it? I think they're going for like 70, something like that, with like um, 40 to 50 percent off again. And so I was able to cop them for half of that price. And um, the reason I wanted to cop them because they just look like a decent shoe, like a really good performing shoe. That's the overall, the overall, how would I put it, the overall like view that I look at this shoe. It's like it looks, on, on my initial thoughts of it, it looked like it was going to be dependable. It was going to have your back. It was going to be, uh, I don't know, I didn't know about the impact protection when it comes to the kick. Uh, but just on the onset of it, from the aesthetics perspective, I liked how they looked. They, they popped out to me. I liked the black and uh, gum bottom colorway. Couldn't get those. They didn't have my size. I did go down a full size on these because I normally wear 13s, but I went down to a 12, and these fit perfectly, actually. And probably with all the weight loss that I've been having, I don't know if that takes fat off your foot, but they, they just fit perfectly. And, uh, and so... It is about the rain. I am outside shooting this. So let's go ahead and let's get through this stuff real quick. But first things first, when it comes to these basketball shoes, the court feel, it is going to be the first thing you feel. The court feel in these are amazing. They feel low to the ground. You you don't feel like you, if you're playing like in a LeBron 17. And I haven't played in none of the new shoes, so I can't really compare anything to the new kicks. But I'm just going off of what I usually hoop in. I usually hoop in Nikes or Adidas. And for the most part, Nikes and Adidas do have some good cushion and impact protection however these these things because my game has changed so much in the past years couple of two three years as far as jumping and doing all that high you know impact stuff it's kind of non-existent now having court feel again having like real legit court feel was amazing i enjoyed it very much uh, i was able to cut in go anywhere the traction was good right on the onset of it and i'm gonna show you uh uh basically a video of what the court condition I, I hoop at it's 24 obviously it's gonna be dirty and these held up traction is pretty dope on this as far as the material is concerned I pay like 30 40 bucks for these I'm not expecting too much from them but they do have like this uh, I'm not I don't know if it's real leather but they have like little patches of uh, what appears to be some kind of uh, leather maybe fake whatever the case would be you got this uh, you got the you got your little good uh toe uh, overlays or whatever the case may be i don't know how to explain the, the majority of like the materials on this kick but i know this is going to be a budget friendly kick so if you're not too crazy about materials i'm not uh the shoe does have everything that it needs to have for it to perform it locks you in to the shoe especially if you get the right size for yourself uh again in my 13 there was a lot of wiggle room up here in the toe box went down half a size clear that out other than that the shoe fit nice. The shoe's very lightweight. Shoe moves pretty dope as far as on the court is concerned. And for the impact protection, the couple of times that I did jump, I don't know, they got DMX foam. This DMX foam thing, it worked like a charm. Uh, I haven't had any knee or ankles or hip issues uh, playing in these. The other day, I ended up, uh, what did I do? The first day, which I'll show you footage, first day I hooped in them. Uh, just hooping around practicing or whatever the case would be and i wore them for the whole day i wanted to break them in i went to the sauna in in into the sauna with these on i went to the stores with these on i went everywhere with these on just to break them in preparing for a day when i would actually hoop in them a couple of days later i ended up hooping with my homies 
I didn't get no footage of that, but we hooped about like seven, seven games that day, like two, three straight hours. And I didn't have any foot fatigue. I didn't have any trouble as far as breaking these kicks in. I have none of that, right? And the traction held up. My feet weren't like sweaty. Uh, the shoe performed throughout the whole entire time. I didn't have any issues of slippage. I didn't have any issues of feeling like, uh, I didn't have confidence in, the, in to be able to do the movements that I needed to do in these kicks. And these kicks held up quite well, to be completely honest with you. And as far as, as far as like the eyelids are concerned, I know they have like this little section right here in the middle. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's got to be something that locks you down uh, inside of the kick, but it does. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but when you pull on it, it, it helps uh, keep you locked into the shoe. So again, it's a budget friendly shoe for the price that you get. It performs far better than <laughs> plenty of the kicks that I have hooped in. And these kicks are they're great man they they already molded to my foot in just three wears i didn't have no issues and breaking them in so as you can hear the rain is here these are the ultimate dad shoes go ahead and cop them reebok more buckets i'm gonna need a bucket to catch all this rain so anyway guys it's been your boy tgk hope you enjoyed that leave comments in the comments selection below in case i didn't answer some of your questions apologize about that but i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one let's go Mavs.